Okay guys, welcome back to the Amusement Channel, the channel where I am bringing awareness to lymphedema as someone who is living with it. Okay, in today's video I will be juicing. And this is something I have seen so many benefits to, so I want to share this with you guys. Stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, so today we are making a orange, pineapple and ginger juice. So let's start off with my favourite, ginger. Now ginger is known for its great antioxidants. Also for relieving nausea, relieving pain, um, reducing inflammation, reducing gas and improving digestion. Now this is my best friend, it's literally saved my life. Yep. Now we move on to oranges, which we know is great for vitamin C, but also vitamin B1, potassium, which lowers blood pressure, and citric acid, which may help with kidney stones. Love a good sweet orange. We have our pineapple, which is brilliant for helping improve digestion, includes calcium, magnesium, vitamin A and C, and folic acid. Also known for brom bromelain, which is recognized for its anti-inflammatory effects. Oh, so that's our three ingredients, and that's all you need. You don't need any sugar, lemon, or anything. It is brilliant just as it is. Okay, before I actually start showing you the process, you need to wash everything. Wash your hands, your counters, the fruit, the actual fruit itself, absolutely everything. Please, people. You wash your lungs. Me say if you wash your lungs, but no one can about you to wash your lungs, boy. Nasty lungs. Okay, the first thing I want to show you is the ginger. I have just cut off the ends so they're not rotten and, or anything and you need to wash them thoroughly because you're putting the whole thing in the juicer. Then we have our oranges. I have five oranges and I cut each of the five oranges into quarters, four quarters. So therefore you should have 20 quarters, just like so. And now I'm just going to, you know, fast forward the video because we ain't got time for that. And please, people, if you cannot <laughs> use a knife, please ask an adult or a sensible person, human, to do so. I don't want you to cut your fingers off just from watching this video. Not that I think that will happen, but hey. Okay, and once you've done that, you then... Um, get a food bag, this is what I do, you don't have to, if you want to be messy you can, I just get a food bag and place each of, and peel the skin of each quarter because we're not putting the skin in the juicer. It's, this is um, can get very messy because the juice does kind of squeeze out of the that each segment, but yes, um, just be careful. Bum, bum, bum. Yes, so we have our pineapple. The first thing you need to do is take off the top. And I just do that by um, twisting the top from the body, away from the body, like so. Then I cut off the bottom of the pineapple. Yeah, don't watch my cutting. I know it's a bit of a shambles, but hey, we move. And then we do the same to the top. Again, don't watch the, the cutting because it's a little bit of a shambles. <laughs> Wasting so much pineapple, but hey. After you've done that, you go. You then go and um, cut the sides of the pineapple, the skin off the sides of the pineapple, and work your way round, like so. Well, if you have a better technique, <laughs> please feel free to tell me because th I've been doing this for ages, and I'm sure there's a better way to cut pineapple without wasting so much fruit. But yes, that's what I've done. Okay, so now the skin is off the pineapple, we then need to 
wipe down the surface this is just me anyway because it's just a bit much but yeah um, once you've done that once the skin is off the pineapple you then cut the pineapple in half and then once you've cut it in cut the pineapple in half you cut each half into three pieces I mean you could do more um, but the three pieces are enough to fit in the juicer straight like so okay okay so now we have each six pieces of pineapple like so now we have all our fruit ready and prepared for the juicer now I am going to juice it in this order oranges pineapple then the ginger because the ginger if I do that first it will clog up the um, strainer of the juicer and we'd have to keep washing it until everything's done so again I'm just trying to save time and be a little bit cleaner so I put a bag in the bin at, at the back of the juicer so the excess um, fruit will just pop straight into the bag once I've finished juicing I take the bag out and put that in the bin if that makes sense it makes sense to me and um, I also put some skin orange peels in the bottom of the um, bag just so, to hold it down because once the air starts flowing through through the machine it starts moving the bag again that makes sense to me but I don't know if that makes sense to you um, so pop the lid back on and then we are ready to go so I turn the juicer on and I put it on number two and start juicing just popping all the oranges into the um, juicer and pushing down so that it all the juice all goes into the jug at the front okay now I like to not waste fruit so I just let it sit for a little bit and then I pop the next fruit in which is the pineapple and again the same thing I just let it sit so that all the juice that's spinning gets to go into the right places It looks so good and I'm telling you the, the aroma of the pineapple. Mmm, yes, yes. Okay, so now we have the juices, the soft fruits done. I need now need to turn the juicer up to level five for hard veg. So that it, I think it spins faster so that the veg can um, be juiced. And I'm again, I'm going to speed this up because it's already a long video. And so to be honest I love a bit of ginger I love a bit of spice the more the better I couldn't help myself and I was trying not to uh, make it too strong but I couldn't help myself um, yes and that's done that's it so this juicer is an old juicer and they're not selling it anymore but I will put the newest version the new alternative of the juicer in the description bar below so I, obviously I get a um, paper towel, kitchen towel, so the juice that's um, dripping from the nozzle doesn't go on the counter. And then I lay, lay the kitchen towel underneath just in case there's extra juice that wants to, you know, kind of leave this, the machine. You then get a spoon, fork or knife, something to mix the juices together so that the blend is just, just right. Do you know what I mean? Oh, look at that. The colour, the smell, the aroma is all there. What do you mean? Oh, yes. Can you tell I'm getting a bit excited? Boy, look at that. So one pineapple five oranges and a few ginger roots will give you this beautiful creation i didn't use all the ginger so what is left is that's about what's left so what i will do i will juice it and save it for another another juice basically um yes let's have a taste so i have a glass here i have the juice here 
I do like a little bit of froth. Have a small glass. Let's see. I mean, for me, the ginger's not too much. It's really nice. The, um, the, the blend between the orange and the pineapple. <laughs> oh, this makes me so happy. This makes me so happy. <laughs> Guys, this is, I, I can't stop smiling. It's only juice, but. I love it. I love a bit of ginger. I love juiced ginger. Now, with this, you could, with juicing, you can do anything. Like, I, you can just do orange and ginger, which I usually do. I just do pineapple and ginger, and um, ginger with some greens. You can juice anything, and it's, you can see so many benefits. There are so many ben benefits in this. I'm going to go and enjoy and I'll see you in the next video. Alright? Bye guys!